Hey. Go check that out. Hey, we could use that. Or sell it. You know, but now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. Some air fresheners, a new coat of paint, and it'll all be good as new. If only it were that simple. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Kellogg called me the backup. Did he? Well, he was correct. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. Your unconditional love is overwhelming. I think I need a moment. I can accept that you're offended. You must understand, though. I have had no love to feel. We have been strangers until now, you and I. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. This is science to you? <laughs> it's pathetic, all of it. I'm sorry you see it that way. Perhaps in time you'll see it differently. Soon, I hope. I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done... <laughs>